now we can start to understand entropy through statistical mechanics firstly a few ideas need to be introduced to understand statistical mechanics we'll start with microstates and macrostates imagine rolling two dice possible numbers are 2 to 12 Now can we ask this question which number has the maximum chance to occur yes because this is how the outcomes will be each number has a certain number of ways of occurring for example number 7 can occur in six different ways 6 in one die and one in another die 5 in one die and two in another die and so on no other number has that many ways of occurring therefore when we calculate the probability number 7 has the highest chance of occurring now these six ways of getting the result of number 7 are called the microstates denoted as w the number 7 itself is called the macrostate or the configuration these ideas are the beginning of statistical mechanics Of course you could have sensed by now we need to use lot of probability and statistics and combinatorics. Let's take a different case. Let's say we toss four coins. The possible outcomes can be like this. Outcome 1 with four heads, outcome 2 with three heads, outcome 3, 4 and 5 with gradually decreasing number of heads. These are configurations or macrostates. Let's see the microstates. consider configurations 1 and 2 the four head and three head cases in the four heads case all coins are showing heads there is only one way we can do it so the microstate is one we can use combinatorix to know this four coins and four heads therefore calculate 4c4 which is one in three heads case we have a one tails in the fourth or the third or the second or the first coin so there are four ways in which we can get that let's see all these four microstates together 4c3 gives us the number of microstates to be four if we do it for other macrostates the corresponding number of microstates would be this graphically these can be represented like this macrostates in x axis with number of heads microstates in y axis note that we get the maximum at the middle for two heads and two tails case now instead of these parameters we'll go for a slightly different axis which is useful to accommodate immense number of microstates and probabilities of macrostates directly now these are the different macrostates and microstates the a ratio is a way of representing microstates it is number of microstates in configuration x divided by number of microstates in configuration 1 is to 1 which is the middle configuration for configuration 1 this a ratio turns out to be 1 divided by 6 which is 0.166 index number is a way of representing macrostates h divided by n which is equal to number of heads divided by total number of coins for configuration 1 it turns out to be h divided by n equals 4 divided by 4 which is equal to 1 now these are the values of a ratio and index number for each configuration graphically it is going to look the same Again note that the middle configuration has the highest ways of occurring Now we'll see an example which is I would say beautiful to understand what is called the direction of natural processes through statistical mechanics Let's say we have 1000 coins in a box all are facing heads up Let's take this box how many number of ways are there to achieve this configuration of 1000 heads the w only one now shake the box a bit let's say we end up in this configuration of 900 heads and 100 tails 
we can have the same configuration when one of these 900 heads becomes tail and one of the 100 tails becomes head isn't it that one can be any of these 900 or 100 so there are many many ways of achieving this 900 heads and 100 tails configuration how many ways totally it turns out to be 10 power 140 a huge number now let's shake the box further and this configuration becomes possible the w here turns out to be 10 power 264 note this it is not 124 times bigger than the previous one it is 10 power 124 times bigger that's enormous let's say we keep shaking and not stopping we end up in a state like this the middle configuration of equal heads and tails the w turns out to be 10 power 299 a truly immense number. The system moves towards this state. Very intuitive, isn't it? It is not intuitive that the reverse evolution is possible. That is all the coins going back to the initial configuration. So the natural processes have a direction. The direction of maximizing W. In fact, we are not stopping to shake. The intriguing but easy to accept fact is that each shake results in a new microstate which turns out to be just another microstate in this truly immense 10 power 299 microstates. The system cannot simply escape from this microstate. There is simply more number of ways to remain in 500 heads and 500 tail state. We can represent the 1000 coins case in a graphical form. Instead of 1000, if it were 4, 10, 20 or 100 coins, the graphs would look like this. You can see that as we increase the number from 4 to 1000, the curve becomes sharper in the middle. What if we consider 10 power 23 coins, about 1 mole of coins? We will have an extremely sharp curve at the middle as if all other configurations are virtually impossible. The state with maximum W is the most probable state. It is so immensely probable that it seems to be the only possible configuration. This one configuration represents the equilibrium state of the coin system meaning it doesn't change with further shaking. Now think about this connection. Natural process or irreversible or spontaneous process in classical thermodynamics is associated with maximizing entropy. Natural process in statistical mechanics is associated with maximizing W. You know, after the classical thermodynamics, people were searching for what is the physical interpretation of entropy. And now we are getting some clues. Are these two related? Let's assume yes. Later we will see whether this assumption is correct or not. So let's say the entropy S is a function of W. What would be the relation? To derive it, consider two systems with entropy values S1 and S2 and W values W1 and W2. When they are combined, the entropy is S0, which is the addition of S1 and S2. W is W0, which is a probability. Now we are not talking about what is this W, what microstates we are talking about. It can be microstates of any discretized quantity. To give you a clue, it can be position and momentum of particles inside. They can be discretized and there can be a W value for them. Let's not bother about it now. We'll see about it in a later video. When they are combined, the entropy is S0, which is the addition of S1 and S2. W is W0, which is a probability. Therefore, it takes multiplication of the probabilities W1 and W2. You know, when calculating the probability of one event and another event occurring, takes multiplication of probabilities of each event. That's why the multiplication. Alright, 
then s naught equals f of w1 plus f of w2 two functions but then s naught is also equal to f of w naught which is f of w1 multiplied by w2 so we can combine these two and write this f of w1 plus f of w2 equals f of w1 w2 if we keep w2 as constant and differentiate then we get this instead if we keep w1 as constant and differentiate we get this now take these two equations multiply the left equation by w1 in both the sides and multiply the right equation by w2 in both the sides we get these two equations now the right hand side of both these equations is the same therefore it is a constant we have come across a similar mathematics in some other derivation where we have done calculation of work for an adiabatic process so we can equate the left hand sides also generalize it without subscripts and equate it to a constant let's say k now by rearranging this equation and integrating we get this till now we have not seen the third law of thermodynamics however we will use it here to know the integration constant c according to the third law at 0 kelvin entropy is 0 and w is 1 there is only one way one microstate possible at 0 kelvin this implies that c is 0 and finally we get the profound equation of second law from statistical mechanics it says s is equal to a constant multiplied by natural log of w this is the statistical interpretation of entropy entropy is a measure of w that's what it says w here is the number of microstates in the most probable macrostate it is the equilibrium state in which the entropy has reached maximum if this is true then we must wonder is entropy ultimately a measure of pure chance because w is a probability also what is the constant k here we will see answer to all these questions in the next video.